afternoon everybody greenhouse today at lunchtime is just coming up to 20 degrees the other day a couple of days ago it was actually up to about 23 24 which is the warmest it's been thus far um, again I haven't had much opportunity to open the door without the chickens being nearby uh, so it's a bit musty in here or a bit claustrophobic I need to air it out a bit <clears throat> excuse me tomatoes are growing but they do have that um, that fungus or that I don't know what that's called if it is called blight or whatever just some little bits of fungusy pieces on the leaves but we are getting um, little flower heads this one over here these two are the Tasmanian first of fruit and there are flower heads here and considering we're not even in spring yet that's pretty good uh, spinach is still growing we tried to eat more and more but it's just keeps growing back so I know I can grow spinach um, fairly soon when I'm ready to plant out my next lot of uh, plants I actually want to basically get everything out of these beds <clears throat> well probably not the tomatoes now but um, and top them up with some decent soil some good fertilizer and some rock dust etc so I'm going to have to evacuate the spinach at some stage I guess I would be doing a lot of blanching and freezing <clears throat> excuse me kohlrabis my great big one that I was going to try uh, by the time I actually got to it I thought hmm that looks ready to pick there was a great big hole on the back side of it and it had um, kind of been damaged and infested so I didn't get to eat that one this is the only one left now and it's like barely golf ball size but you know if I want to actually have a taste I probably have to use that one until we get some more growing out the back hey Georgie so the lettuce that are left behind are uh, still going actually got a new new flush coming out on them now um, I don't even remember what types they were this capsicum which was my tree from last year I did give it a hard prune back and I wanted to see whether it would grow back or not there's a tiny little wrinkly bit here which looks like it could have been new growth but it doesn't seem to be doing anything so <clears throat> it's about the only signs of life I see probably have to get rid of that one the chili is um, already new flowers new fruit new leaves new shoots it's off and racing already they had little all oh, little flower heads there so can focus um, so I know that'll be alright but I might need to move it we'll see they should transplant okay I hope peas well I've been munching peas oh, there's some hiding up the back I have been munching peas off this occasionally snap the top off mm. yum sweet and crunchy over this side eggplant I haven't pruned it yet I must hurry up and do that there are new shoots down here but again that's also got this fungusy stuff on it so I am growing new shoots oh look new ones down the bottom so I probably still will lop it off give it a go but again this bed this one's been in longer than this one and I want to top this one up as well before I plant more in it sage is going fantastically um cauliflower that one kind of went a bit too far whilst I was away for work and <clears throat> since I haven't been in here for a few days uh, this one is one the, one of the mini collies that I've just left to go to seed so we've got some seed pods here yeah, fattening up this one um, these tall ones still haven't really produced a great deal just leaves at this stage but this one's got a purple sorry get out of the way leaf 
it looks like maybe broccoli romanesco or something because it's a basically a purple broccoli head but it's so tiny you wouldn't even get half a mouthful this one's not doing anything either it's just leaves maybe it's kale i don't know it doesn't look anything like kale very tall i just let that go the chinese cabbage is pretty much getting to the point of being able to use them now i've uh, got plenty of munch marks on the outside but the insides are starting to fill in and there's actually some substantial leaf there so you know when you put them in a stir fry they wilt down to nothing a couple of broccolis that i've missed um being away um so i guess we can still eat that might be a bit bitter though well, these little pods are just dropping off i guess they've got seeds in them so there's about three of those this one actually did eat the, the sec the middle section out and these are the stalks again missed them and this one i missed that one it's funny when you wait and wait and wait for everything to grow you go away for a week and all of a sudden you come back everything's gone finished too late along here we've got uh, some other things that are yet to grow middles this one's looking like a cauliflower it's very tight in the middle there uh, but it's kind of bulbous so I'm assuming it's cauliflower here's a broccoli I can eat and this one here I've got to take this pretty much now I might be having that for tea tonight that one's actually looking pretty good considering all the hardship it went through here's a little one and kale you know what I probably won't grow kale anymore I don't really understand it um, it doesn't turn me on really on its own and I don't really know how to use it as you cook it up just like cabbage but I don't know it's just maybe there's a secret I don't know looking good now though the top bit bottom bit after it's been dug up by chooks and everything is a bit shabby that's the curly leaf kale and a couple more broccolis tiny babies so in the long run it all worked out pretty well so you're go, gonna harvest this lot clear this end out totally rejuvenate it with um, new soil some fertilizer alpaca poo and cow poo and stuff like that probably probably the depth of that timber that's bare I'll probably go at least halfway up that put in some uh, cocoa peat as well so that's the inside garden at the moment mm -hmm.